What is good everybody? Hope you're all having a very great holiday season. Today we're going to be styling the Jordan 1 Travis Scott Low Black Phantom with all of these different fitting bottoms, all of which will be linked down below. Starting things off, we have the Essential Sweatpants. This is the 3M version and on top, that is the Everyday Hoodie by Minimal. I love this piece because it has zero branding, perfect for layering. On top of that, I've got on the H&M oversizable coat from the season in addition to that i put on the stussy beanie which is in brown and that's also from this season this is outfit number one very cozy very warm and perfect for this time of the year Now, switching on to outfit number two, I decided to go ahead and throw on the D152 Cargo Denim by Minimal. This is a brand new pair of cargos, a new design and a brand new fit. They are on the slimmer side. And as I promised, I'm gonna be putting on a different styles of pants because you guys did very much so request it. Though I don't really mess with slim fitting pants, I do appreciate this pair because it does feature a bit of a slit at the bottom, which does complement the Jordan 1 lows really, really nicely, at least in my humble opinion. And it's also added a level of stacking because of that cargo pocket. The hoodie is actually a chrome hearts zip up hoodie, uh, which does match the shoes perfectly. And this is just a pretty standard outfit if I don't say so myself. Now, moving on to outfit number three, we've got a pair of sample denim for Locust Wild Honey. This is a fit that I'm really working hard to perfect because it is like a subtle take on a boot cut pair of denim. I love the wash and so that's probably going to be green lighted. I want to get your guys' two cents actually as to how you think these pants fit. Do you like them? Would you wear them? Let me know in the comments. That's what's cool about designing pants for your community is that I can ask you guys. Anyways, as you can see, I do have a vintage Harley tee, which I do find the fade of it really complementary to that Stussy beanie. And for that reason, I did go ahead and uh, keep it on my head. At this point, I was going to actually switch outfits, but I wanted to show you. Dude, I found five bucks, so that was cool. Now, moving on to outfit number four, I decided to go ahead and throw on a fan favorite, one of my very favorite. This is the D212 Denim by Minimal. Truly an amazing pair of jeans just because of how hyper versatile they are. Offered in both light blue, as you can see here, and black. Over that, I threw on a brand new drop, a jacket that I've been loving as of late. This is the Distressed Bomber Jacket. It's not really distressed, so I don't know about the nomenclature, but it is nicely faded, great color, and has contrast pockets, which I do find looks really, really cool, really unique for a jacket. I don't own anything like it. And that was outfit number four. Now, moving on to the next outfit, I kept on the exact same white tee, which will be linked below. It's one of my favorite fitting tees from Uniqlo, and they last forever. Shout out to Uniqlo for having some of the best basics in the game. On top of that, I threw on this beautiful Nike crop jacket, guys. It's kind of a bit of a spoiler. I found this in a vlog recently that needs to be edited, but I wanted to wear it. So I threw it on. And with that is an essentials beanie that I copped for like, I think it was like $10 for the uh, PacSun employee sale. How many of you guys are watching this video and were a part of the Locust Wild Honey Facebook group during that era? That was crazy. Anyways, in case you're wondering, these are the B118 denim from Minimal. It is that carpenter style denim with a bit of a boot cut or a flare. Now, onto the next outfit. These pants are a pair of Locust Wild Honey denim that are dropping in January. Bit of a surprise for you guys. I decided to style it with this recently thrifted flannel from ThriftCon. If you have yet to see that video, there'll be a card that pops up right now for your viewing convenience. But yeah, guys, this is a pair of pants I'm really proud about. It's uh, got a very beautiful fade to them. And you're going to see the custom buttons, attention to detail. I think you're going to love these pants. They're dropping for sure in January. So stay tuned. Make sure you're locked into the email signups. 
if you like them, of course. But with that, more information to come in the coming weeks. Now, moving on to the next outfit. This is a pair of vintage Levi's 501 that have been beautifully worked into paint splatters and distressing. Also releasing in January is the Locust and Wild Honey sun beaten hoodie and locust and wild honey yellow i felt like this hoodie was super appropriate to go ahead and sport with these pants because it's got that vintage aesthetic and one thing i really focused on with this hoodie is not only the weight but how it would fall and finish look at that at the waist you see that that is what it looks like to have your t-shirt not be pinched by your hoodie and that was very very much so intentional I really do hope you guys love the hoodies as much as I do because it took a lot of work and uh, working with factories to get this uh, this level of detail right, <laughs> it was tough. So uh, yeah, you guys are gonna love it. It's French Terry, brush French Terry. Oh, so soft. Now moving on to the next outfit. This is the V266 cargo camo denim by Minimal very loud pair of pants and for that reason i decided to go super simple up top this is the vintage faded fear of god seventh collection t-shirt t-shirt's pretty simple for the most part with the only semblance of it being fear of god being on the back on that flocked logo but with all things fear of god it really is about the details and so you've got that beautiful uh fading on the shoulders really really nice and uh, the t-shirt's super soft so i uh, definitely a fan of this one for sure Now moving on to the next pair of bottoms. Hopefully you guys were able to determine this fact already, but um, I've been going from like skinny to baggiest. And so this is what's known as the V489 denim. Uh, this is Minimal's newest fit. Uh, it's called the vintage fit and it's made to fit baggy all the way throughout. Now, due to the fact that the pants are baggy, I did go ahead and go with a more fitted uh, top and outerwear piece. Uh, the t-shirt is from Uniqlo. It is a faded black basic Uniqlo UT. And over that is the bandana trucker shirt. And as you can see, it does fit pretty cropped and pretty true to the body, complementing uh, the baggy nature of these pants. And yeah, overall, I just, I just really like this outfit. This is probably my favorite one thus far. And now moving on to the next outfit. These are probably baggiest of the bunch. Uh, these are the Paisley Knit Sweatpants, which do feature a very, very relaxed fit. Uh, they're so comfortable, guys, as they are knit pants. That's not to be mistaken with a brushed fleece. Uh, this is like a more breathable version of that and is much softer. Again, due to the baggy nature of these pants, I went ahead and put on a Fear of God Essentials tee in an extra small. It is on the slimmer side, as you can see. I uh, do go ahead and complement the proportions of these pants. And yeah, because they're baggy, they're going to drape over the shoes quite a bit, which I know triggers a lot of you guys. And now moving on to the last outfit of today's video, I did decide to go ahead and throw on a pair of shorts because A, some of you guys wanted to see these shoes with the shorts and B, there's some weirdos out there that wear shorts in the winter time despite how cold it is. Please don't be offended if that is you. There is absolutely nothing wrong with being weird. I'm weird. I'm, I'm really weird. But yes, in case you haven't seen already, these are the Locust and Wild Honey Crinkly Nylon shorts to conclude today's video and guys thank you so much for stopping by the video it really does mean so much that i get to serve you through making content and i will never take it for granted one bit as always as i end every video here at locust wild honey peace and be blessed